Hi, good morning everyone. It's Julia here from Shining Star Readings. Now today I thought I would upload um, a very quick video on how to use a pendulum. So, what can I tell you about pendulums? Well, they are brilliant for answering those yes or no questions. Okay? They're usually very accurate, they're easy to use and they take very little time. Now, this is my rose quartz one which I tend to use an awful lot, particularly when I'm doing relationship questions. But we've also got here my clear quartz, and this is a blue lapis pendant that I've got. So if I'm ever anywhere, and I'm always wearing a necklace with a pendant, I've got an amethyst point that I'm wearing today, you can use a pendulum a pendulum, a pendant, which has a light weighted object on it as a pendulum. So, we have our pendulum. What do we do with it now? Well, we have to program it. We have to know what the movement it's going to show us for yes, for no, for maybe I don't know, I'm not going to answer that question, or if there's a complete block. So, here we go. Can you show me a yes movement, please? There we go. Instantly, mine is going in a clockwise direction to show me yes. Thank you. Can you now show me no? And immediately, that changed direction. And there we have our no movement. Thank you. Can you now show me? I don't know. I don't know the answer. Look how that's immediately changed, and I'm not moving my hand, it's so still. We're instantly going from left to right. Okay, thank you. Now can you show me there is a block? No movement whatsoever. It's completely still, guys. Now, everybody's pendulum is going to be different. So when you first buy one, first of all, I would just cleanse it. Um, run it under some cold water and then just do as I've done ask it to show the movements alright now I know my movements so the first thing I'm going to do when I pick up my pendulum to start working for the day is I do ask it out of politeness are you willing to work with me today there we go there's our yes movement so it's happy to work with me now, what I will say when using a pendulum, don't over ask the same question. Why? Because your pendulum will probably start to mess you around. Now, how does a pendulum work? Well, it's connected to our higher selves and our spirit guides. So, yes, it is a bit like an extension of us. Okay. So, even if you haven't connected with your spirit guides, you can start to do so by using a pendulum um, in the same way when you first start to pick up your tarot cards your spirit guides will make you see what you need to see for that particular reading so pendulums can be used for many things okay yes they can be used within a reading to double check something to double check the energy between two people even to find something that is lost okay many many questions you can ask a pendulum now you can get some pendulum dowsing charts you know if you don't feel confident enough to do it as i've just shown you now i have some very basic ones here that i have had for many many years um, this is a very simple pendulum dowsing chart which has the yes no's maybe free will not know them so very simply, you would hold your pendulum over the middle and see in which direction it's going to swing. Some little variations on these charts. Here we have a chakra colour dowsing chart. So again, hold it in the middle and just ask either out loud or in your head which chakra of mine needs attention. Or maybe you're connecting to somebody either on the phone line or somebody that's with you, this is a good way to see what chakra needs attention. And the final one I'm going to show you 
is an Archangel dowsing chart. So again, this is very useful just to see what the message is from your angels on a particular day. So these are just tools that we can use within using a pendulum. Now there are other many charts out there that might show the letters of the alphabet for instance if you're connecting to a new guide you might be able to use this particular letter chart I think it's like a round circle and it has all the letters in the alphabet to spell out your guide's name I do know there are charts with numbers on so if you want to ask a specific question maybe for a timing or how many of something you can use your pendulum for that so all in all you know they're a very inexpensive tool that you can actually buy and that you can gain so much information from now how do you choose your pendulum well it's a bit like a crystal okay you will be guided to a certain one all right i always say the crystal chooses you and you know the crystal or the pendulum will decide if it wants to come home with you you'll either get a good feeling or a bad feeling okay and it's also quite interesting that you know maybe when you say you've been chosen um or been guided to say a blue lapis pendulum you might want to look into the properties to see why is that crystal why is that pendulum chosen you okay so i hope you found this video useful if you have any questions please drop me a message via my facebook page or leave a comment under the video on my youtube channel and have fun with your pendulum i'd love to hear from you all please feel free to share my videos with anyone that may be interested and thank you for watching take care